what's going on Aquarius how you doing my loves thank you to everyone that's like shared subscribed if you guys have purchased a reading or if you've donated to my page I totally totally appreciate you um, if this is your first time finding me welcome if this is you coming back once again I appreciate it um, if you have not subscribed please do so that you know when I'm here with new content okay um, we have the twin flame card coming out here okay so you guys have your twin flame coming toward you this is for my single Aquarius okay some of you could know who your twin flame is others of you may not know okay some of you may have thought that you knew who your twin flame was um, but you may have been wrong okay um, this comes out as a Aquarius card has a uh, 1 1 which is 11 here as well as a confirmation okay now this person coming towards you they're dealing with a lot of guilt wounds um, if this is a person from your past they may feel like they have to atone for something now let me tell you guys what type of energy I have here I have the energy of you maybe meeting someone maybe spending time with someone but I feel like something was short-lived I don't feel like this got to a full-blown relationship I don't feel like you guys uh, were together long I don't feel like that at all I do feel like someone here was very upset about how things happened and how they transpired and someone may have put up some boundaries to keep someone away. Yep, thank you, Spirit. We have the separation um, Spirit here coming through. You guys may have been separated from this person or, or someone went one way, the other one went another way. Uh, reason being is that someone was dealing with some toxic addictions, whether they be a person, place, or thing, okay? Someone's saying, you know what? I'm where I need to be. Okay, I'm dealing with who I need to deal with. I'm dealing with the situations um, that matter to me as well. Um, and that's rightfully so. You know, someone is saying, you know what, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm doing right by myself. So someone may have not communicated that. Okay, I feel like the communication at one point was good here. Um, but all of a sudden, the communication went left. Um, and it caused someone to have self-esteem problems because they, they were stuck wondering, like, what's wrong with me uh, to where this person has not chosen me, but they've chosen another path. OK, um, I feel like there was a revelation that was given to this person about the separation or a revelation was given to you, Aquarius, about this person that separated from you. Um, and you now understand why this person had to put up a boundary or maybe you put up a boundary. OK, someone had to put themselves first. Someone had to make sure that their self-care was priority was a number one here. OK, and this could have been something for a person that, you know, they're not really used to doing. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the soulmate card. So this could be, um, uh, if not a twin flame, it could be a soulmate situation or it could have been a twin flame that went off to another soulmate situation. And now um, they're, they're being revisited by um, this twin flame that sort of got away, the one that got away here. Now with the self-esteem, Spirit is giving me um, the focus on that card. Uh, negative beliefs about oneself, lack of confidence, feeling badly about oneself. Someone may have been second guessing, you know, um, the way they looked or uh, the way they made people feel in relationships uh, because of how uh, this went here, whatever this type of union was for you, Aquarius. I feel like the person that did the boundaries, whoever that may be here, I'm going from whichever direction. So you guys put the energy wherever you need to. Whoever separated and put up a boundary, I feel like this was the first time that they basically took charge. Uh, I feel like this was a very painful separation as well. I feel like this is a person that did not want to separate from you. Uh, but I do feel um like they needed to tune into what it was that they needed at the moment okay so someone the person that um was was still around um that person may not have set boundaries with people around them so when this person set a boundary they may have felt like this person would be back or this person would hurry up and you know just get through whatever it was that they were going through but when they did not get through uh whatever this was and and people are still in separation you know someone's now having to have you know a different view on what could have transpired or what happened how they could have done better how they could have um, interacted better uh, with the person. Let's continue, okay?
What do I need for Aquarius spirit? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Someone may be having dreams about a person now. We have this card, um, Spirit of the Woods. Someone may be uh, may like to go outdoors or someone may have walked with a person outside as well. We do have that energy. Um, so when it comes to the dreams, the revelation could be that someone had a dream about a person and what they truly were to them. Okay. Um, the dreams could have let someone know that this person is now transmuting a life for themselves. Um, they're trying to take any type of negative energy that's ever come towards them and change it from something that has not been real to something that is in this 3D to something that um, they can touch, feel, okay, smell or taste. Um, I feel like, yep, here it is, that someone is now going to have to offer this person um, something feasible, right? Something that makes sense to them, right? What what can I offer, you know, this person that uh, may have walked away from me or I walked away from? What can I offer, you know, to get them tempted enough so that I have another chance and we're not in separation mode anymore, okay? Um, but I do feel like there's um, a little bit of an ego here because someone may feel like, uh, in the past, someone was able to be overcome by whatever emotion or, or um, acts that a person did. Um, and I do feel when this does not happen this time, that someone's going to feel very uh, discontent or uh, resentful, even miserable. Okay. And then this is going to turn into something of envy because, yeah, well, if they're not interested in me, then who are they interested in? If they don't want me back when I know how they cared about me before, who are they looking for now or who are they checking for now? So I have one person here that um, may have, um, and like I said, you put it on whatever side it needs to be on Aquarius. I have one person here um, that understood that someone had a special connection with them. However, the other person may have walked away um, or may have separated themselves to deal with another union of some type and when that person uh that that uh was left behind put up boundaries and said you know what i'm tired of being hurt i'm tired of going through the things that i've been going through i do not want to feel this energy anymore um i feel like the other person was like well how dare you put up a boundary you know, I'm your person, you know, when I'm not with this person over here. So how dare you put up a boundary? This is the energy coming through. Um, I feel like someone is single here. If this is you, Aquarius, I feel like this is an energy that you're not really looking forward to. You know, you're not looking forward to anyone from the past unless they're coming in on the right time. And when I say that, I mean, you're not you're not for the nonsense, you know, either you know what you want. Finally, you're ready to move accordingly. You're ready to be open and honest and communicate and be in a grown up relationship or else I'm not the person for you. OK, I don't want to deal with your, you know, baby mama drama, baby daddy drama. I don't want to deal with your addictions or your sex um stuff going on. I don't want to deal with your gambling or you drinking too much or eating too much. I just want to be in this relationship the right way. And if you're able to give me that, so be it. But if this is not something that you can do, kindly walk forward and away from me. Okay. So someone here is like, you know, I'm not for the BS. I'm not, you know, so I don't want you putting me in it. You know, I was in it for a while with you. You know, I understand if you tell me that you're sorry for the way you treated me. I I can even, you know, agree to forgive you. But that doesn't mean that I forget what happened. That just means that I forgive you. Um, and I know how I would like to be treated going forward. And that's what's important to me. So someone here has made themselves a priority. Thank you, Spirit. That's that Four of Pentacles energy. Someone has made themselves a priority, okay? Someone's holding on to their heart, holding on to their possessions, holding on to their energy, okay, with this card here and saying, you know what? You really have to earn uh, what you get from me going forward. You need to earn that. I'm just not going to give it to you willingly. I'm going to hold on to this 
um, longer than I did last time because I feel like I gave you more than you were worthy of uh, before. You know, I really need to be a little stingy. I really need to be in control of my life. You know, I may have let you take over before, but I really need to do what I need to do for me because right now this is what makes sense. And I understand that you may not understand that, but I can't care that you don't understand why I'm moving this way. Just understand that the boundaries that I put up were, were put up because of how I was treated before. So now someone is looking at those two paths and making a decision of saying, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. You know, do do I allow this person in or do I continue on my path? But I feel like this is the decision that's going uh, to to take someone down, um, down a path of not only enlightenment, because once you decide to forgive a person and give them another chance, you know, you're paying attention to everything this person does. Just being honest, because you've been through your discernment is so sharp. You're looking at everything they do. You're paying attention to everything they say. You're even playing back things and that they've said to you in your mind, trying to, to discern if, you know, you even believe them. You know, um, it can be a point where you can get a little bit um, obsessed with, you know, always trying to piece things together. But going back to a person or not going back to a person is really your choice. Right. You have the choice of staying or going. You have the choice of detaching or staying in a situation, um, but you have got to be 100% invested uh, once you do that. And I feel like it's going to take someone here a while before they're able to invest 100% uh, based on how this has went previously. Now, if this is a new person coming at some of you, you're still going to be looking at this person like, yeah, I'm only going to give a little bit here and there. I'm not going to give everything based on, you know, what I've learned down this journey. Um, you know, I understand that, you know, I'm coming in at the king of uh, pentacles type of energy. I'm coming in very mature. I'm coming in very uh, successful and I've, I've bettered my life. I've made other decisions, but I'm not really um, interested in taking risks anymore like that. I really want some sort of security. I want to know that someone wants me before I move forward and has all the elements that I'm currently looking for before I give in or before I surrender. Okay, one more card uh, for Aquarius. We have making investments. Only then. And only then will I make an investment in a situation or a relationship. Only then, okay, will I start to share my manifestations, my, my ideas, you know, my money, my time. You know, only then will, will I want to nurture a situation uh, with a person and I'll be in it, you know, for the long haul, watching it grow, okay? But someone has to prove themselves to me now or someone has to show up correctly. Okay, so Aquarius, this is what I have for you guys. I'm sending you guys the utmost love and light. Um, I love you guys. Um, if anyone needs a personal reading, the information is in the box below. Um, just so you guys know, we have Capricorn energy out here. Uh, we have Taurus energy out here. And we have Aries energy. So, you know, fire sign, um, earth sign. Um, so... If anyone needed that information, there you go. I heard someone calling out, like, wait, 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 what signs? That's what you got, okay? Sending you guys love and light. You guys take care.